That is the new order plan. I reject it. I say no to it. I, I, I mean, uh, this is the ultimate evil we face. Now, now I digress. We've looked at the big global scale. Let's zoom in to a local scale now. And I'm sending reporters out there right now. In fact, I've got great reporters, but 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 yeah, they came in and asked me this morning, but you know, should we go out and report on driver runs car into South by Southwest crowd killing two? The doctors are saying, unfortunately, looks like two more may die and injuring at least 23 people after he ran away from a cop that was trying to pull him over at a DUI. Uh, not checkpoint, but pullover. And yes, default, if something like if an airplane crashes at the airport, don't wait for me to tell you to go to the airport. Go to the airport. Uh, if, uh, you know, some world leader just arrives and is, you know, walking around, uh, you know, go interview him. Yes, go. And, and I want you guys to go down there and bring up the fact that, hey, this guy runs from police down the wrong way, smashes through barriers where they had 6th Street shut down for the festivals, tries to run over police, runs over more than 20-plus people. Uh, there's reports of folks flying around in the air like bowling pins. We're going to play in a moment. And the police chief has said they're going to go for two counts of capital murder, which means you'll get executed, which it is premeditated. you got somebody in front of God and everybody else driving around, running over people, and they still... This happened like midnight last night. They still, at 12.30 a.m., they still not released who he is or who she is. I'm, we're guessing it's a man. And they will not announce who it is. So it's either an illegal alien or it's somebody who was on some psychotropic drug uh, who was completely out of their mind. Because every time they don't release who it is, it's because they're trying to get their story together. And I think this is a terrible situation. I'm not blaming the police in anything here. So I'm not, I'm not here coming up with a conspiracy. I'm saying, tell us the person's name. I don't like the fact this person has been um, in, their, in their hands for 11, 12 hours. This is about 11 hours, 10 and a half hours. I want to know the name of this person. I want to know who they are. I want to hear who they are. I want to know their name. I want to know their MO. I want to know it. Release the information now. And they, they said an hour ago, Arde Saveda was set to give a press conference. We'll come out and give it then. Now, this is what I'm sending my reporters down there for. Oh, yes, it's very tragic. Two dead, more may die, 23 injured. There's still shoes and blood all over the ground, reportedly, because it's a crime scene. This goes on for blocks after blocks. This person was driving around like it was Grand Theft Auto. Are we going to ban cars in Texas? Because cars are used to kill hundreds every year. People use hundreds. Hundreds of people die every year when someone uses a car as a weapon. It happens every couple days. You see it in the news. Do we ban cars? They're trying to ban butcher knives in England right now because their crime rate's gone up more than tenfold with knives. They have a crime rate three times what the U.S. is, violent crime rate. They just use baseball bats, trudgeons, daggers, uh, you know, uh, weapons like that. And are we going to ban knives? And people are going to say, well, of course not. He's a bad guy. Well, no, no. Shouldn't you turn your car in because you might use your car to hurt somebody? And people are going to say, well, of course not. We'll go, well, should we turn our guns in then when somebody does something bad with a gun? That's what I want my reporters to go out, show the report, what happened, and then show, talk to the trendies and see if they understand that logic. Because that's what we do here. We hijack news stories. So that's not just a news story where the system puts it out two-dimensionally. We then connect it to common sense and everything else. That's what I want my reporters to go out and do. In fact, whoever's not doing I think it's David Knight doing the news tonight. Let's send Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo out right now. I know I said about an hour ago, go out. Let's just go out. He already went down. No, no, I'm good. He already went down before he I... He already went down, spoke to the mayor. See, Jakari didn't have to be told, see? That's right. Okay, because this morning I was saying send him, and he, he was already gone. Went down. Good. That's what I like to hear. So they had already gone before I told him. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like right there. I don't have time to give my crew advice. So I just do it on the air. It's all totally transparent, folks. This is real. This is teleprompter free. So driver runs car into South by, by Southwest crowd, killing two and injuring 23. Two people were killed and 23 others were injured. When a suspected drunk driver, I got a call about this about 2 a.m. I got woke up and I almost got up out of bed and my back wasn't out. 
I'm shooting 50 cal handheld. I got to quit doing that. My spine's literally kind of bowed to the left. But I got some chiropractor work done this morning. It's halfway back in alignment. Man, it hurts. But uh, two people were killed. 23 others were injured. When a suspected drunk driver fleeing arrest drove his car to temporary barricades and into a crowd of people leaving a musical performance at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, police said early Thursday. Austin Police Chief Arde Saveda told in news conference that a man and a woman who were pronounced dead at the scene of the accident were hit on a moped. Which happened around 2.30 a.m. A. Saveda said the two people who died were on a moped when the motorists hit along with pedestrians who were leaving a club where a concert had been held. Neither victim's identity has been released. And, of course, they go on to say he ran through a barricade, almost ran over some police, went the wrong way. I mean, he was clearly running over people to get away from the police, probably on psychotropic drugs or an illegal. And I only say that because they're not releasing the name quickly. Uh, but I've just seen that in the past where they won't do it sometimes for days if it's an illegal because they don't want to ever talk about a precious illegal. We'll be right back. So also were able to ask some questions. Uh, our reporters are telling us uh, that the suspect is reportedly a black male. We're going to uh, find out exactly what's going on. I don't think there's much suspect about it. The person's pulled out of the car that just ran over all these people. Uh, but it is a serious, uh, tragic situation to see this happening. And Jakari just came in here during the break and he says, I don't look like a jerk. He rarely uh, bucks me on questions. I want him to go out and ask the public. He goes, I don't look like a jerk going out to a scene with dead and dying people from last night and say, hey, what do you think of this tragedy? You think we should ban cars? Because, you know, a car was used to kill people. But, I mean, no, they say ban guns. And, and it's just as asinine because a bad person uses a gun. In England, they want licenses for butcher knives. That's BBC News. That guy's put into BBC. Forget the press conference, guys. It doesn't matter. It's good. I don't want to have the whole show taken over with press conference searching and all this stuff. We know what happened. It's done. We're done. We're not doing the press conference. We're moving on to a whole bunch of news. We're done. Boom. It'll all be on the nightly news. You know, the wreck, the whole deal. Psh, time out. It's kind of like THX 1138 when the robot's going up the, and Robert Duvall's about to go out to the surface. And they go, turn back now. You know, we're running out of time. Uh, this project is over budget. Eh, boom. Done. Nada. Shut it down. Anyways. Continuing, ladies and gentlemen, I just am directing from in here uh, in the studio. For like an hour, I've been hearing about this press conference that already happened and just phew, done. We're not doing the press conference. Now, continuing, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to come back in the next hour and get into a whole bunch of news dealing with things that we can do something about uh, and basic human liberty uh, and basic human empowerment. Uh, and we're also going to get into all the other serious news. Uh, but as you can notice, uh, I am extremely wound up right now as uh, Russia is massing military forces near border with Ukraine. Russia's defense minister announces new military operations in several regions near the Ukraine border. On Thursday, even as Chancellor Angela Merkel of Germany warned the Kremlin to abandon the politics of the 19th and 20th centuries or to face diplomatic and economic relations from a united Europe. And that's what the Pentagon's saying as well. So the West comes in, stirs this up, overthrows the government on record, and then now says, Russia, you better not put anybody on your border you better let us come in there. And, and now the Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman is saying they're prepared for military response. That's up on InfoWars.com right now. Now, some of the stories up on InfoWars.com. TSA agents to eyeball bus passengers during security exercise. They've already been running illegal checkpoints, searching buses and people. This is just the public rollout of the TSA I told you about 12 years ago when they first founded it, because I saw them say on C-SPAN, you would have to go through them to get a job, to pay your taxes, then we have checkpoints at every major intersection and we'll rule your life. And that is the domestic security force, just as big and just as strong uh, as our military that Obama talked about. That's it, the rollout. Yet another uh, trader, uh, st big stock trader and banker commits suicide, rocks financial world. That's up on Infowars.com. Was missing jet hijacked, U.S. official fears MH370 was captured and flown to mystery location. By remote control, perhaps. What happened to Flight 370? An analysis of what is known. Excellent article up on Infowars.com. College group bans white people from diversity happy hour. We wrote an article about that yesterday. DrudgeReport.com picked it up. And uh, Paul's got a new article out on that today. Unbelievable reactions from anti-gunners. Powerful video. And Obama threatens Congress. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today.
Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.